the Braille Bytes logo appears. There are two Braille letter Bs, and animated bytes are taken from two of the dots. Season 1, Episode 7, Stringing Beads. Welcome to Braille Bites, where we explore bite-sized ideas and activity recipes to build early Braille literacy skills. Jen stands in a kitchen, wearing an apron with the Braille Bites logo, a large wooden cutting board, sheets of hard copy Braille, and various craft supplies sit on the counter. My name is Jen. I'm a teacher of students with visual impairments and the outreach coordinator at PRCBI. On this episode, we'll explore a threading activity, some Play-Doh activities, and a tactile scavenger hunt. These activities build finger strength and dexterity skills to get little fingers ready for early braille reading and writing. Fine motor skills are important for braille reading and especially when beginning to use braille writing tools. Threading objects can be a fun and creative activity to do together with your child. It provides practice in using both hands together for a coordinated task. This recipe uses easy to find and easy to make ingredients from around the house. This recipe needs several key ingredients. We'll need a string to thread. The string is about 30 centimeters in length. You want a medium thickness string, such as the bright orange string I have here. Three pipe cleaners that you can use as an alternative to string. Bright yellow duct tape, you can use any color. A piece of cardstock that's cut into a circle with a hole in the middle. The circle is about eight centimeters in diameter and materials to thread. Organized in a muffin tin here, I have some objects to thread. I have some toilet paper rolls cut into rings that are about two centimeters thick. I've got some strips of cardstock about a centimeter thick that I've looped into rings using tape or glue. I have some Cheerios and I have some beads of various sizes and colors. I also have a baking sheet here to provide a work area. Now let's take all these ingredients and mix them together. For children who need something that provides more structure than string, you can create a thread using pipe cleaners. Line the pipe cleaners up side by side and twist them together to provide a nice, sturdy threading surface. Jen shows a finished product with pipe cleaners twisted tightly together into a single thick thread. We'll need to make sure that the objects that we put on the string don't fall off the end. So you want to take the string and tie a knot in one end. If you'll be threading larger objects, such as the paper rings, you can put a larger stopper at the end. I'll use this cardstock that I've cut into a circle with a hole in the middle. I'll thread it on as my first object to prevent other objects from falling off. Jen pulls the string through the hole in the cardstock circle until it reaches the knot at the other end, creating a stopper. At the other end of the string, you'll want to wrap some tape around the tip. This provides a nice sturdy tip that is easier to thread through smaller holes. If you don't have any tape, you can also dip the end of the string into glue and allow it to dry and stiffen. Next, we're ready to top off the recipe. Now that our work area is set up and organized, we're ready to thread some objects. Put the objects you'll be threading in an out of the way yet easy to reach location. In my case, I'll put the muffin tin to the left of my baking sheet. You can thread the paper strips onto either the string or the pipe cleaner. Rings of toilet paper have been strung along the pipe cleaners that have been twisted together. They provide a nice large opening to fit the thread through. The beads can be used with the string, but they're too small to fit on the pipe cleaner, as are the Cheerios. Beads are strung onto the orange string. When using the beads, children need more skill to line the tip up and push it through the hole. You can get creative with these recipes and find other objects from around the house to thread. Your child can create a necklace or a decoration for hanging. You can also create a simple pattern by threading a paper loop, a Cheerio, a bead, and then repeating. For a copy of this recipe, see the description below. Braille Bites is brought to you by Braille Literacy Canada and PRCBI. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss our next video about making some dough to play with shapes and textures. <laughs>